one more kill somebody. Joyce Lee, y'all give it up. Oh, Joyce Lee. Tell about that real shit. Aren't you nice? Listen, motherfuckers, if you can hear the sound of my voice, clap once. If you can hear the sound of my voice, clap twice. If you can hear the sound of my voice when somebody next to you is talking, tell them to shut the fuck up. Let me begin. This is about love. Or the attempt to search for love in all the wrong places. I met this big, muscular, green-eyed, yellow motherfucker named Damien. Dick to horse size, and he knew how to use it. You know how some guys have a big dick and they fuck you like they have a two-inch dick? And it kills you. You like, goddamn baby, you gave me a root canal, what you did? I can't hang. Damien was a good lover, very gentlemanly. We fucked around for about three months until Jamie had a show at O'Farrell's. Who's been to the Mitchell Brothers show mix of motherfuckers? There's another one happening in April, by the way. And so it was gonna be some dances at this Mitchell Brothers show, so I was like, these Dancers ain't gonna show me up. I'm showing some titty too. I'm gonna show some side too. And I'm gonna invite Damien so he can be in the in the back room flirting with the strippers, seeing some booty, seeing some ass. I was trying to be a good girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? So he came, and then after the show, he said, Damn, baby, you know, you look so good. Let's go. We're in San Francisco. He's like, let's go to the club. So we went to a club on 3rd Street in San Francisco. And we had a good time. And I'm dancing and Damien's at the bar and I hadn't had nothing to drink and he's at the bar. And I look over at him and I see him do a huge fucking line of cocaine at the goddamn bar. Now, no judgment, but at least he could have went to the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, no judgment. I just need to know you ain't got no goddamn habits. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, yo. I'm ready to go home. So we get in the car. Damien's driving. His tags are bad dog. And we're breaking up, or I'm breaking up with him. I'm like, we're done. I'm done with you, you're done with me. I don't know if you're done with me, but I'm telling you, you are, motherfucker. It's over. He's like, no, 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 I just do this from time to time, blah, blah, blah. Crossing the bridge, what the fuck ever. We get blurred by police cars. It's about three o'clock in Oakland. And the police come over, they see uh, white powder on Damien's nose, they see it on his hand. Five seconds later, he's in the back of the goddamn police car. And, and just to keep the picture going for you, I'm in the passenger seat, three o'clock in the morning in Oakland, still dressed like a hoe, in case in case the pitch rain clear for you motherfuckers tonight. Uh, so it's one cop car, then another cop car shows. The only black cop comes out, he's looking at me, I'm sitting in the passenger seat, I don't know what the fuck to do. And he's like doing this, real subtly, he's doing this. So I roll down my window, but he's talking, he's not moving his lips. He's like, listen, get out the car. And, and slowly stand next to me. And I don't know who to trust in this situation, a drug dealer or a cop. I mean, it's the same fucking thing that you really think about. Another one of them. A bag of big ass pills and another one of them. 
another bag of big ass motherfucking pills. So at this point, I'm having a goddamn panic attack sitting on the sidewalk in my whole time. You know what I'm saying? In my whole time. So the cop goes, are you all right? I said, I'm cold. He was like, you can sit in the back of my police car. I got the heater on. I was like, I'm not sitting in the back of your motherfucking police car. <laughs> then he looks at the drugs. All the cops are looking at the drugs. Three cop cars. Then the cops stop pointing the flashlights at the drugs and start pointing them on me. Then the cop grabbed me. Yo, you know this guy? I said, apparently, I motherfucking don't. He was like, did you know that the drugs was in the car? I said, listen, I swear to Jesus and four more revolutionaries, I did not. He said, well, I'm going to need you to sign this piece of paper. I don't know what I signed. I probably owe somebody my first child. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> I need to be free. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so after I signed the paper, he was like, you good. I was like, I'm good. He's like, you good. I was like, can I talk to this motherfucker I don't know for a minute, please? <laughs> so he was like, yeah, but I'm going to have to write down everything you say. <laughs> so I was like, that's fine. That's fine. Sure, Crump. Sir, sure conversation, officer. Sure conversation. So they got to roll the window down for Damien's punk ass. And he's sitting in the back of the car, handcuffed. And so what I said to him was, Damien's wife. And we had dinner. 